All right, everybody, welcome back to Physics Gaming. Doing some more Psychonauts gameplay here. Gonna continue from uh, where we were last time, which we had just finished that tutorial level. Well, let's just check this real quick. I think there was still one more card to find here, but I don't know. I think it's probably best if we just go ahead and explore the rest of the camp. We can come back and 100% it later on. What do these no two girls passing, want? But I need to get to Sasha Nine's secret lab. Maybe you should have thought of that before. Before I didn't what? Think of that before. That's why I'm here now. Exactly. Now you gotta pay the toll. One arrowhead. Well, I already up. have like I found thirty thing. of them. Is that what you're talking about? Yep, that's an arrowhead. How'd they get here? Frankie, the new kid can't be this dumb, right? The camp's I'm built on an Indian dumb. burial ground, and Whoa. oh my gosh. Indians buried their dead here? Ew! I hope not. No, stupid. They <laughs> buried, buried their, their arrowheads. arrowheads here. Yeah, everybody they knows that's what burial ground, grounds are for. Out a little gas once in a while. Me too. Just like Coach Oleander. And so Coach if you Oleander. See that stuff, just pull them right out. Like truffles. Yeah, anyway, I've been doing that. Let me have one of yours. Okay. All right, I guess they're just trying to reinforce the fact that you need money to buy things from the camp store. Whoa there, you. Come here, you. Can't do the scavenger hunt without a list. A Report scavenger back hunt? to me when you have enough items for your first promotion. Now get! Uh, find eight items to be promoted four ranks. Find eight more and get promoted another four ranks. Okay, so another collect-a-thon. All right. So where do I... Yeah, he's hey, just he gone go? again. He's pretty good at that, gotta say. How does that old guy get around so fast? All right, let's check. What do we got to uh, find in here? Uh, wait, no, I want this one. There's a challenge marker, 18 cards, and two scavenger hunt items in this map. I remember this map's pretty big. I haven't played this game in a long time, though. I assume there's gonna be a bunch of stuff on top of trees and whatnot. Oh, well, we found one card. And I can see the challenge marker up there. We get a walk across here. Get another card. There's another one under this roof. Let's get that challenge marker, though. New side power at rank 10. We're at 8, so uh, we're pretty close. There we go. It's kind of weird. Why is the shadow being cast upward onto that texture up there? I guess the light source is coming from every direction, and it doesn't really check the the normals of it, so it doesn't know what direction it's facing, maybe? In your ear. Hey! It's the king of the obstacle course! Hey, Rez! You're awesome! You must be a psychonaut by now! This man, neck. Yeah! Or even a Long. double psychonaut! <laughs> oh no, not yet. But soon. Wow, those two are so nice. They are quite nice. Oh wait, whoa, hold on here. They mixing up some arsenic or something for me? What are you doing up here? You guys still mixing it? Oh, you put it away when I get close, all right. At least you're kind of nice. Hey, what are you guys doing? Uh, writing cheer. Oh yeah, writing cheers. Uh, ready? Okay. When I grow up. Hey, what you gonna be? I'm gonna be the best, just like my main homie. And when you say homie, whose horn might you be tooting? The mind reading psycho thriller. Oh, you must mean Rasputin. Yeah, Rez! Let's go. Let's go. It's a bop, boys. It's a bop. On sale now in the main store, we have a special on Dream Fluffs. You hear me? Dream Fluffs! They're good for you. Keep a pocket full of these for a quick boost of mental health. Do be needing some Dream Fluffs. What's that? Oh, alright. I guess that's one of our little uh, collectibles there for the scavenger hunt. Can I go under here? 
Do you have enough side cards to build a new challenge marker just by a side core? Yep. I think I should have enough for two, shouldn't I? Wasn't it like ten per or nine per or something like that? I got a bulletin board here. Nothing cool on it. I was trying to read it, but I guess I can't. Oh, the band jamming. The band jamming, boys. Hey, why are you stopping? Oh, I thought you stopped. No, 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 no. Let's go. Hey, you guys are good. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hey, do you have a lighter? Because if you lit it and held it up right now, that would be that would rad. Be rad. And it would be pretty rad. And insensitive to me and my issues. Oh, right, right. Oh, never mind. I forgot about the whole fire bad thing for a moment. Sorry, 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 my bad. Fire Not to worry, be bad. my bro. Well, let's just pick it up from the part where I do that thing. Alright, uh, we got the movie room. Pretty lit. Do over. Two, three, four. Why does this guy disappear when I get close to him? What the heck? You see him? He's right there. And now he's gone. Hey, Phoebe, can I ask you a question? What? Have you ever had a weird nightmare about a bathtub? What kind of question is that? Yeah, I knew there would be something up here. I'm right at the door. There you go. How? The knocking speeds up. Ooh, uh -huh. got him. It's very true. I used to play the drums. He's 100% right. Oh, we got the scavenger. Okay. And there's no side cards or anything. So if we talk to this guy, is this Excuse the me. store? I told you them burgers ain't ready. But no, you didn't. The coals ain't hot. They're not going to be done for a while. Maybe a week. A week? A week? They're back ordered. I'm the only one back here. These things take time. I don't even want a hamburger. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? So, what do you want? Whoa, okay, this is the store. Web duster. Take that into someone's mind with you. You can clean it. 800? They're happy to be rid of the webs. And you can uh. turn them in for Psy cards. It's a lot. And with that, you can change the color of some of your Psy powers. Like your levitation ball and what have you and what not. Well, okay. Ah, now here's something every young Psy cadet needs. Now that dowsing rod will help you find arrowheads that are buried deep. That's for all the really valuable ones are, you know. Right. Three or four deep deposits, and that baby pays for itself. It costs you money. Now, you take that Psy core there, put it together with nine Psy cards, and you'll have yourself a brand new Psy challenge marker, which is worth a whole rank, you know. And I have enough to buy two of them, so I'll probably do that. And then we'll save up for that dowsing mm, rod, I think. Clubs. Delicious, nutritious, and cheap. Each one is packed with concentrated mental health. You shouldn't go anywhere without a pocket full of those. All right, now, let's pick up two of these. All righty then. What else can I do you for? I'll take it. All righty then. What else can I do you for? That's it for now. All right. Go get more airheads and come on back. Support your local merchants. <laughs> Small businesses, you know. All right, so how do I combine those things now? Redeem these with Ford. I'm, I was just talking hey, to him. Ah. Just kidding. Don't push me, Sonny. I can reach. I can reach you with this spatula. How do I? I guess I don't turn them in at the store. There must be somewhere else That's where I turn them now. in. Oh, well, maybe this is it. This tree over here. <sighs> yeah, this was Welcome it. Welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Kruller? Or somewhere else? Let's go to Ford's... I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble Psychomaster. Psychomaster. Now you can see who Ford really is. Still just an insane old man, but... A powerful, insane old man. Hmm, you finally made it. It's an honor to finally meet you in person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Ford Cruller, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic True Tales Psychic magazine. Ah. 
What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the psychonauts. Ah, so, so we're exploiting the Earth's resources sure here, huh? Spoon benders don't kill each other. <laughs> What's titanium? Titanium is a very rare psychoreactive, psychoreactive mineral, mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. I'm definitely in that second group for history, sure. I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes. Well, <laughs> God, I have many disguises. It, it helps me keep an Definitely eye on a disguise. you kids you Not go. just my job. Uh, now, <clears throat> when I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. So, what, so what mission are you doing down, down here? here anyway? Well, from just here, teaching us? To world events. Look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. Oh, big and then brother. Fly out okay. And save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, not like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. All right. What Could is be all us, this equipment? superheroes. Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. All right. Nice. I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. My head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your I don't know how I feel about it. that. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. Bacon? Is that... A piece of bacon? Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have like a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, oh, there's a card up there. Oh. Let's get that card and then uh, go make our challenge markers. Get some more ranks. Uh, is one of these machines down here or something? Let's... Now, before you go electrocuting yourself, let me tell you how these babies work. Now, this beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler. Oh, I know what those are. Mental cobwebs are... You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Now, up in the camp store, they sell a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. All right, it's just hella expensive, though. Energy on the real world side. So you can take what you collect back here, hook it up to the loom, and weave that tangled mess into something useful. Like a card from a side challenge marker, which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine side cards into this guy, along with one side core, also yep. sold in the company store for <laughs> nominal fee, and it will kick out a bona fide side challenge market, which will He's earn you a money off these to a kids. higher rank. Rank up enough, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? Yeah, I got put it. Put my mental cobwebs in there, and my side cards and cores in there, and soon I'll be able to burn stuff. <laughs> yep, basically. Have fun. Just light things on fire with my mind. Yeah, that's what I'm what here for. Like, oh, oops, I'm at the Just wrong one. Your hair. But you gotta buy a cobweb. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Man, he's back. It's this one I needed. I was at the wrong side. Uh. Oh. Okay. All right. That's a weird animation. Bet. Go see Agent Crawler to get my new psi power. Well, good thing I'm already here. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, 
I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for Pyro. Oh, we do get the light stuff on fire. Look at that. Yeah, hit him with the pose, boy. As Putin's bizarre adventure. Wait what? to burn Hey, what are we doing here? Inside your mind? Well, I thought you'd like to be in a familiar place for your first pyrokinesis lesson. Lesson? Shh, now, now, think of something you'd like to burn. Hmm. Some oh, tents. yes, I heard you were raised in the circus. Uh, but why would you want to burn all these happy memories here? If they were happy memories, I wouldn't have run away. My dad... There. He hates psychics, and he knew I was becoming one. So all day long, he would force me to practice my acrobatics, hoping to distract me, or maybe hoping to kill me. I never was sure. Now why are you still talking when you could be <laughs> burning stuff? I appreciate that. Now how do I burn? It looks like it's Q. I have to burn hold it down. Burn great, great. Ooh. Now, burn the rest. Oh, You're getting neat. warmer. You can do it. Ooh. It's getting hot in here. So now Press we have speed. that and a melee Lucky attack. Focus on this last one and hold it while you use your pyrokinesis power. What does that mean? You can do it. It's just harder. It's still on fire. Excellent right. work. That was the same. Fire is pretty. Fire okay, is pretty. That's the end of the lesson. You're free to go, but you have to promise me only use your power of pyrokinesis only when it's very, very important. Or it's really, really entertaining. <laughs> I'm using it all the time, though. And if you're doing it to impress girls, make sure none of them have on a lot of <laughs> hairspray. <laughs> Speaking from experience there, huh? All right. Let's go find that uh, lab. Uh, let's check on this map here. This is where Ford's lab is. Or not Ford's, Sasha's lab. So we got to go down this way. GPC and Wilderness. What do we got to find in here? We got two challenge markers, 18 cards, and four scavenger items. Okay, that's quite a few. Hey, you're that new kid, ain't you? Well, I'm doing some advanced training right now, as a matter of fact. So I don't think this guy's kind of full of himself really a little, you know? You want to get too used to saying. Hold on there. You're not doing Sasha Nine's advanced training that he does in his secret underground lab, are you? Hidden deep within the iron walls of the GPC, where no one can hear you screaming? Why? Yes. Yes. That I one exactly. Sakes alive. Well, nice knowing you. Nice knowing you. They have high hopes for us, apparently. What's going on here, huh? Is that you? Looking at me? Maybe you should try getting over yourself? There were a lot of other people on that stage besides you. No, just now. In the woods. <laughs> mm, no. It must have been something else. You don't smell like pond scum. Nice. You should write greeting cards. There was some sort of shadowy being out there. Bear. Lurking. It's the Watching. bear. I know of only one creature who fits that description. It likes to hide in dark places, silently watching unsuspecting children from a distance. Really? Who? You, tree sitter! Oh! <laughs> Got him. Alright, so we just gotta do Sasha's secret thing. Let's find some of these uh, cards and challenge markers first, though. So we already got pyrokinesis, which is kind of neat, but uh, I'm sure there's even neater stuff. Oh, I am not touching the ground. That's not right. What's that? Oh, collectible. Okay. Okay. I can't. I want to get up. More up. Why can't I get more up? What's this? The squirrel takes my acorn. All right, come back here, squirrel. I got something for you. 
I sneak up. Oh, I was gonna light him on fire, but he doesn't let me do that. All right, fair enough. Get some more cards. Remember to keep filling up those scavenger hunt forms. We got a couple of big promotions nope. for the winner. Still won't budge. Nope, still won't budge. Yep. What is this? Nope, still won't budge. Can I jump on this? Whee! Nope. Seems like something that should be pushing me, jumping higher, you know? Oh, um, excuse me, Mr. Bear, I have to leave. Oh, I can see the challenge thing in there. Will I be able to get in? Die! I will burn you like a pile of autumn leaves if you do that again. Sorry, sir. Yep. All right, I guess I need to go in from the top or something. Maybe there's like a telekinesis badge that I have to get later on. Oh, uh, sir, are you okay? That looks like fun. It's work. I'm testing a low orbit space plane design. That kind of just looks like a paper airplane to me, but sure, go for it. Hey, we got the thing. Let's go. Another rank. Next rank at 20. Hey, this is the guy that blows I up squirrels, Nils right? Peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. Oh, he did I'm do hiding. that. And I thought, oh, Nils. When will you peek into the hole in my heart? Uh, because you just see yourself staring back. Uh-huh. What? I mean, he'd see my... Hey, Dogen, I got a secret for you. Nils. <laughs> hey, not fair. Whispering, Whispering so, so rude. rude. What did he tell you, Dogen? Who's Nils? Who's exactly. Nils? <laughs> anyway, the one's head explodes. Dokken scares me, man. Why is this kid crying? And why has he got to do it in my ear, too? Can't he cry somewhere else? Hey, is anybody out there? Let me out! Help! Oops. He's in here somewhere. Oh, I guess that worked. Thanks. I thought I was gonna have to eat my own arm. What is this thing? It's a GPC, a geodesic psychoisolation chamber. Oh man, cool. cool! Cool? Do you have any idea what this does? Something cool? Uh, no. It's a six sensory deprivation tank, a hermetically sealed metaphysical hotbox. It's solitary confinement for psychics. Oh. Nasty. And the coach. No way, dude. Inside. Sasha put him in there. Nah, the staff hasn't put any put ins in the GPC since the 50s. Bobby threw me in here. <laughs> Bully and dwarf accomplice should assault own size or larger only. Agreed. Or even cooler. Perhaps notice gigantic bear with skin where hair should be? I didn't see anything in there. That's the whole point. Hmm. Just so. Empty now. Good luck, small ones. Hey, didn't wait. we see a bear like, you know, two seconds ago? So we got the button now. And now we can put it in there. Okay. That was kind of a creepy laugh for Esbuton. Agent 9, I'm here for the advanced training. But first, let me pick up all these cards that you've got floating around. So what are we going to learn? Bending spoons? Burning stuff? You got any other cards? Nope. Oh, there's a scavenger hunt item in here somewhere, though. I like these stained glass stairs. It doesn't seem super practical, but they do look very nice. Why has he even got boxes up here? You can't physically get to them without jumping off of your stairs. Alright, well we got that. Whoop. We got the uh, item over here, so we're gonna find that. Then go do uh, Sasha's advanced training. Oh, what the heck? The boxes. 
pushing me off. Found a fossil. Neat. Right, I was up, Sasha. I've been hearing a lot about head explosion, and I was wondering. Science, Rasputin. That is what we practice down here, not parlor tricks. If you are serious about exploring the possibilities of your mind, step up to the brain tumbler, and we'll begin. Brain tumbler? I'm sorry. Did he say blowing up people's heads is just like a a, a parlor trick? So, what's this hair dryer thing do? Ah, you're ready for the brain tumbler. With this device, we will send you deep into your own psyche, where you should find unparalleled insight and power. Excellent! Tumble away! Now just relax. This will not hurt. <laughs> unless something really very bad happens. It looks like it's gonna hurt. Just as a guess. Wow! Is this what the inside of my mind looks like? Not yet. You're still traveling to the astral plane. This is a tiny corner of what we call the collective unconscious, a place in which all of our unconscious minds are connected. You have just begun your training, Rasputin, so many of the connections with other minds are still not developed for you, and those doorways remain just out of reach. Hmm. But so the this more is like you the explore hub world, the mental worlds, the more connections you will form. Right now, the only unconscious world you can enter is that one, your own. Makes sense. Step through it, and we'll continue. All right. Seems like there's a multiple hub worlds then, because there was a bunch of different maps we could go to from that main cabin. Then we also have this, which brings us to more main maps. I kind of forget Rasputin, most of the story. Can you hear me, Sasha? Where am I? You are inside your own mind, but I'm not sure where. Tell me. What can you see? Well, we're back home. I see a run-down gypsy caravan. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's where I was born. I see. Compelling. <sighs> oh boy, more collectibles. Let's go. Give me these. Yeah, buddy. Oh, we got a locked-in vault. Come back here. Get back here. Rasputin's getaway. So here he is doing acrobatics. Which one is he? Top left or something? Oh, he's quite sad. Getting a pamphlet. Lifting weights while he reads. Dang, he's strong. What is he doing here? He's got leg curls with uh, 70 kilos or 70 pounds. Yo, this lady just lifting 120 front raise like it's nothing. He big. Oh, dad's mad. Ripping that up. World's smallest pony. Oh, he rides the world's smallest pony out of town to Whispering Rock. He gets a ride from a nice guy over here. Adorable. Sasha, I'm going inside the caravan. What do you see inside? TV static. Uh-oh. What? No, I'll figure it out. Aha! Oh, it was an egg. I was an egg the whole time. Rasputin, are you okay? What do you see now? Oh. I see a small, bunny-like animal thing. Hmm. An unfamiliar animal entity in a dream often represents a primal fear or memory. Follow it, and it should lead you somewhere important. Check. Okay. Okay, Mr. Bun. You and I are gonna be tight. Wherever you go, I go. Like two peas in a... Hey! <laughs> Come back here! So we gotta chase down this rabbit to learn about our uh, childhood trauma, apparently. Alright, we got a nice tag here. Let's see, how much stuff do we have to collect? We got a whole lot of figments. We can't get cobwebs. There's one more vault, and we have one, two, three, four, five baggages to find. We've got one tag, so we gotta find four more. And just grab all these guys as we go. Why is there so much meat? There's just steaks everywhere. Oh, okay, the grass is aggressive. That's not something I remember. 
Sasha? What is it? Another bunny? No. This is more of a super scary flaming eye demon kind of deal. Yeah, oh. that's pretty scary. Hmm. What? Okay, I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Uh, Sasha? Hold on, I'm still getting some unusual interference. It's fascinating. As if someone else... Agent 9? Sorry. Almost ready. Sasha! Alright, good thing you brought me out. This is a scuba diver helmet? What the heck? We about to get domed. Ah! Hmm. That should not have happened. We need to try that again. Oh. I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me when you're ready. Well, there's really no other things to do, so I guess, uh... I guess we're ready. Okay, I'm... Oh, really? Hmm. What? Uh, nothing. It's just that I didn't think you'd really take me up on that <laughs> offer. It usually scares the kids off. Well, not me. I'm ready to kill for my camp. Uh... Listen, I'm sorry, but I can't train you. Agent Vodello would kill me. What's the big deal? What she doesn't know won't hurt her. You don't even have a marksmanship learner's permit. I could lose my job. I'll get one. Even if you used that secret passage over there and snuck into his sanctuary, Agent Cruller would never give you a marksmanship learner's permit. Agent Cruller? Never in a million. I'm off. Be right Be back, right after, back I after I talk. talk. Alright. We're pretty tight. He knows me. I'm sure he's gonna tell me, oh, I gotta go collect 13 chickens or something. Agent Cruller? Charm, how goes the training? Uh, Sasha says Sasha I need says to learn, I need to to learn fight. how to fight better. You want to teach you advanced combat on your first day? Yeah. I had a vision with a huge monster with yellow eyes and a big mouthful of gnashing teeth. Did it happen to spit anything at you? Yeah. I think it was like an old dining helmet or something. It did I indeed. Mm. Yes, well, we'd better get you armed. Why? What's happening? Nothing, nothing. Prepare your mind. That's the motto of the Psychonauts. Here, this is a marksmanship learner's permit. It will only work when you're in Sasha's mind. Once you complete his shooting range, you'll get the real merit badge and you can side blast any way you want. Thanks. All right. Sounds side good to blast? me. Oh, you'll find out. Now get going. We can't have the camp overrun with big-eyed garbage spitting monsters, can we? No, sir. True. I'd better go. Good luck. Alright. Let's go back there, do his training. Ooh, okay. We're hey, back Lily. with our girlfriend here. Going for the advanced training? What's the rush? Are you kidding? I only have a few days to become a psychonaut or I lose my shot forever. True. Look, Raz, Gotta go for it. I hate to burst your bubble, but the psychonauts are not what they used to be. What Times does that mean? have changed. The world just doesn't need us anymore. The world does too hmm. need psychonauts. Right here at this very We're just here for the fact. war on drugs. I think there are it's not real. fishy things that need psychic investigating. You are so immature. And cute. When are you gonna just shut up and kiss me? Shut up and do what? Oh, I didn't know you could. Uh, <laughs> I gotta go. Mine's so embarrassing. Whoopsie. I'm Did I think that out loud? Not. Okay, Sasha, we're back. Okay, I got it. Excellent. Are you sure you are ready to do this? It could be dangerous. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm ready. Just have to get my affairs. Pull me yes. into your mind like the coach did. Are you going to pull me into your mind like the coach did? Hmm. No offense, but it's time you saw what an organized mind looks like. Neat. Guy could do with a new haircut, but you know. Respect the drip. What the heck is that? That's not organized. Welcome That's to chaos. My mind. Huh. It's so empty. Ooh, kill him. Uh, I mean, there's more here than meets the eye, but I've learned to keep it under strict control, and that's what I'm going to teach you. Control your feelings, your fears, your anger. You must learn to control them, focus them, concentrate them, 
and release them. As therapy? No, <laughs> as, <laughs> as firepower. Therapy. Say something hideous and horrible jumps out at you. Something so disgusting that it simply must die. <gasps> ah, oh, so, so tacky. I can't look directly This guy would die fast, if you went to a TGI Fridays. feelings. Focus them, concentrate, and release. And the world is a better place. Your turn. So some Yu Yu Hakushu spear gun stuff. Well done, Raz. Oh, right Keep click. shooting. Well done, Raz. Excellent. A victory for good taste. Now you must strive for precision agree. I would when agree targeting. with that. Say you were set upon by multiple attackers. But you need to dispense with them in a certain order. Eliminate these monsters in the proper sequence, and we can move on to the next lesson. Is there some lock-on mechanic or something? Not really. Good shooting, Raz, but you are making it harder than it needs to be. You need to practice locking your mental focus. It makes targeting and evasive maneuvers much easier. Let's right. try again. This time, lock your mental focus. You're gonna tell me how to do that? While holding shift, okay. Oh, okay. Good, again. Good, again. Now then. No. Is this what you saw in your vision? Um, no. Well, it sure seemed a lot bigger in my head. Ah, problems often seem larger in our heads than they really are. That's an important lesson to learn. That's just but a dude this with a stamp. This is a sensor, an integral part of any sane person's mind. The sensors roam through your psyche, looking for thoughts that don't belong. Hallucinations, manias, waking dreams. The sensors hunt them down and censor them out. Why do Probably they come necessary. after me? I'm not a mania. Yes, but you are a foreign entity in my mind. You technically don't belong here. Yes, but I was attacked True. in my own head. Yes, well, the brain tumbler could be malfunctioning, or you could be insane. We'll test for that oh. later. For now, <laughs> blast it. No. See you later. That's the spirit. I killed it. It was just a thought I was having, and it's not dead. It has just returned to its basic form, raw psychic energy. Go absorb it. It's good for your mental health. What does this give me? Health back or as shots back or something? Energy, your mental health or is it those brains on the side that's my like health you bars? You expend your will to do damage. So be on the lookout for these small, dense clusters of raw psychic aggression. Psychic aggression. Absorb these as well to make sure you always have enough firepower. Now I'll so leave I the gotta reload, you huh? So you can practice. You have to blast 1,000 sensors. 1,000 sensors. Merit badge. Come back every day for practice, and you should have enough in as little as three weeks. Three weeks? I only have a few days to earn all my merit badges and become a psychonaut. Slow and steady wins the race, my eager young friend. Now practice slowly and carefully. Oh man! This man about to turn it up to death immediately. No questions asked. Can I walk off the edge? Oh, that's neat. I love that. What? I like that a lot. What if I jump over? Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try to implement that in Unity. I want to see. How does that work? This oh my god, you go forever. flying. I wonder if I can speed it up somehow. I don't know. I mean, that's pretty quick. This man on one. Oh, okay. It's pretty quick. Mm, still not fast enough. All right. You're the boss, Rasputin. Mm, still not fast enough. Bro, it's we're at the max. Oh, I think he broke it, guy. Oh no. Is there a bed? Come to Papa. 
Raz, what have you done? This is not control. This is chaos. I'll try to fix it. You stay here and keep the numbers under control. <laughs> How is he jumping in and out of his own head like this? What the heck is going on now? Oh, that's so cool. That camera movement. I like that a lot. I like the zoomed out look. You get a better view of the, the scale and the way that you're walking around on this cube. Alright, I will get some emotional baggage. Thank you. Rasputin, see those valves? That is where the sensors are leaking out. Psy blast the valves to shut them down and get this area under control. Okay, but let me get my collectibles first. Just, you know, real quick, like... Let's learn about your past. First loss. Okay, that's his mom. She's feeding him and caring for him. There's his dad. Oh, his mom is sick, huh? Ooh, ouch. Rough, Sasha. Rough. A collectible here? Already at maximum projection depth? I don't know what that means. Oh, we hit the valve and it just moved. What is this? How do I get this thing? I guess I don't? I don't know. I feel like this was supposed to be some big battle, but it's just kind of like, oh, slowly bounce around, shoot some stuff, no big deal. Good. Well, you got them all. That was it? That wasn't very uh, intense, but all right. That makes more sense. Uh, interesting. Interesting aesthetics inside this guy's head here. Oh no. You close one leak down and another springs up. Well, come on. We've got to take care of these too. All right. I saw more collectibles, I will take care of that. Woo! Flying. Okay, we got all these tags, but uh, I haven't seen any of the actual baggage, right? One, two, three, four, five. I wonder if it's five every time. Can I not hit him? Oh, now I can. He couldn't earlier, maybe he's got some kind of armor. Oh, here's one of them. I might have missed another one then, actually, because we didn't really look for him in that first weird bed frame section. Oh, they have ranged attacks too. And health. Yeah, get out of here. He did hit me though, so I guess we can take damage. And there's another set of those goggles up there. What do those goggles do? I couldn't pick them up last time. Is it like an extra life or something? Ouch. Hmm, melee range doesn't seem worth it, honestly. They're just gonna do the same thing again here. Get another level opened up. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep. Yeah. Um, that's what we gotta do. One for each side of this cube. 
Got six levels to go through. Got some suicidal thoughts coming at us here, or what? What is this? How do I climb? Oh, there's a ladder. Okay. Can I climb this? No. Just gotta go for the ladder. Man likes his shoe boxes, huh? Oh, ouch. Okay, we're actually taking damage, it's not very good. It's got some cobwebs, but we can't do anything about that. What is hitting me? How do I... Alright, there's that gone. He just moves again. Classic. Oh. Can I go up this thing? I don't think you can go up the rails. Found another bag though. That's two out of the, I think it was five or six, something like that. Oh, you can go up. Oh, uh, what the heck is going on? The... Okay, the camera's going mad wild. Already at maximum depth. I guess that might be health or lives or something. It looks similar to the uh, lives we have going on in the top left. Oh, no. Well, I guess we'll find out if it's lives now since we've died. Every time you lose all your mental health, you peel off a layer of astral projection. If you lose all the layers, you will no longer be able to maintain a projection in this mental world, and you'll be kicked out into the real one. Uh, okay. Collect markers like this to increase how many layers you maintain at once. Okay, so that was like an extra life. We just couldn't pick it up before because we were already at the max. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, we're learning. Alright, let's skate our way back up. Which doesn't really make sense, but, you know, it works. Let's pick this up. We should be able to get it now, right? Yeah, nice. Okay. Alright. Throw that three down. Three to go. This one seems more aggressive. Yeah, a lot more aggressive. Jeez. Could tone it down a little, Sasha. I can't get over this jump where you can just wee. That's so cool. Alright, just grab some more collectibles. Clear out some more of these sensors. These guys are gonna try to blow up at me. I still can't do anything with the cobwebs. But, uh, oh wow, there's a lot more sensors this time. Yeah, we could probably just ignore them, right? Just keep going. Grab this bundle of ham. Can't grab that though. That's it. I've completely blocked off all of Sasha's sensor outlets. Oh, nice. I can't wait to tell I thought him. there would be more of them. Like one for each of the uh, sides of the cube, but I guess not. Yes, I have. That shooting things is fun <laughs> and useful. No, Along with lighting them on fire. Control of your own mind, it's very hard to get it back. Yes, one's thoughts must be 100% controlled at all times. Well, no. Actually, if you try to completely suppress your undesirable feelings, they'll build and build and eventually explode. Oh. So, uh... 
What would happen if you were to see what if we block off all your sensor outlets? Well, there would be a buildup of sensor energy within that would uh, eventually run Rasputin very fast. Can't you just kick us out of your own mind here? What? What do you mean, run? Oh, wow. Beefy lad. You are my own creation. I command you to stop. Oh. Rasputin, Cancel. it's time to earn your merit badge. Can't so His mental focus is locked. Press space and use this stuff in any direction. Various for circling enemies. Okay. Ah. Help Sasha. Sensor's under control. Defeat Mega Sensor. Alright. Oh, big yum. So, I'm just gonna go around and delete these. Can I light him on fire? Oh, Alright, I'm Leave getting a little lost. Put me down. How do I do that? It seems like he heals when the other sensors go towards him, so I gotta cancel all these uh, spawn points. I feel like I got most of them. There's one on this side still I can see. Okay, now he big mad. All right. Why is he throwing meatballs? What the heck? Where you get these? How do I block? I don't have any way to like block him. Man's cracked. He's got a hundred percent aim. Oh, ouch. Guy needs to be on a football team, dude. Can't miss. How did that hit me? What the heck? Alright. Simple enough. Kinda gross, though. I don't know what he's throwing at me, but I didn't like it. So, is this where I get a speech and learn another lesson? No. Here's your merit badge. Let us, Let never, us speak never speak of this again. Of this again. <laughs> Perfect. So now we can light things on fire and uh, shoot them. Very good kid summer camp right there. Nice. And Sasha probably broke a lot of rules and some laws there, but you know, it's okay. It's in the spirit of learning. I want to shoot more things. Okay, okay, enough about my mind. Let's stay out of my mind for a while. <laughs> Let's just go back into yours, huh? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. Alright, I think we'll probably call it there for uh, this episode here, but um, some more Psychonauts gameplay there where we uh, went into our own mind. We got like three merit badges or something. Did a good amount of a story progression there. Found uh, what I assume is going to be the hub world. Was in Sasha's brain tumbler here. So we'll have to go through there, complete some more missions. I assume there's going to be a lot more interaction with Ford. We'll have to go buy that um, dowsing rod, because I think we had like five, not 500. I don't know why I was going to say 500, but we had like 70 or something of these. I don't know how to pull them up. Uh, okay, I can choose my powers, use your side powers, but right now I don't have any options really. I'm trying to pull, there it is, 77 of those, so we can get another one of the core things for 10 which brings us down to 67 and then 50 for the dousing rod so we should be able to get that in any case that'll be the next time uh let me know if you guys like this one drop a like if you enjoyed a dislike if you didn't leave a comment down below let me know what you guys thought and uh feel free to hit subscribe to see some more gaming videos coming out too peace